Hello friends, and welcome to Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning Emulator. So we are in the client now. I have the install video for this posted as well, so if you want to know how to install it yourself, you can do that. And it seems to be working quite well. I did go in once to turn off music and found that for some reason I could not display any of the characters. So let's select our server, which happens to be in Europe, I guess. So when I went in, these were all gone and none of them would come up. So we can pick all the different common types, dwarves, empire, I actually played a witch hunter on live. It was quite fun. Hi elves. And they all have really cool animations to go along with them. Dark elves. Chaos. and green skins. So you get your healer, your DPS, your tank, and melee DPS. So we are going to be a shadow warrior. So I like the idea of range DPS. And you can see the customization. Jeez, that's a horrid looking face. There are not all, none of them are great really. Do they have one that covers the whole face? No. That is spooky looking. That works. Scorched brown. Not a lot of customization options, but a few, just enough to get you going. Duplicate name. All right. Here is our shadow warrior. We have 19 character slots available, so we can make 18 more characters. So we could have one of each, pretty much. With this being in Europe, any latency you see may be just due to being overseas. Have nothing to do at all with the game itself, because it actually seems to be performing quite well. However, I am in the US and the server is in Europe. And there was like 800 players on the game, so I can imagine it might take a bit. It's probably taking a toll. Order, stand assembled in defense of the Empire, hoping to keep the invaders from the north at bay. Men, dwarfs, and high elves, staunch allies in these dark times, unite in the village of Grimmenhagen as they wait for the hammer to fall. Grimmenhagen. When this grand alliance will be tested in the fires of battle, and you along with it. So 
So one thing about this tutorial window and others like it will assist you in playing Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. Oh, UI mods. Okay. So while it's doing that, is it control? Can't remember. All right, so I haven't played this game in a long time. Let's disable the mods. So I can't remember how to move them around, and a lot of them are probably out of date. All right, so here we are. So one of the things that I noticed was they said that approximately 70% of the quests were working. So that's a good thing. That guy's got a horse. So you can see the majority of this game is Are you a marauder? Am I supposed to kill you? majority of this game is good quests are working things are happening stuff is going on but I haven't played this game since it came out I played for the first 30 days and that was about all I did After that, I pretty much stopped, mostly because of imbalance with some of the classes. Uh, since this is a world v. world, or basically So where good versus evil comes into play, you basically, this game is designed to be very focused in realm versus realm, for the most part, on a two-sided battle. And healers had a distinct advantage in that they could proc their healing and you could not hit them. So if a group had a healer, you were unable to kill anyone in that group because they just sit there and bubble heal them to death until you ran out of time. So that, that had a lot of bearing on why I quit the game. I just frankly got tired of all of the imbalance and never being fixed. On the plus side, since this is an emulator, it has the opportunity 
to fix some of those imbalance problems. Oops. It's a little bit different control scheme than I'm used to. That my experience? No. I'm going to set it at the top, right up there. Getting used to this, finding out where things are. So a lot of things in here to do. Not useful. Not useful. But as you can see, the game does have a lot of things going on. Things are working. Everything is as it should be. We've got no career abilities to buy. Merchant. We're looking for a Lanrick. There you are. Aid me. Aid the Empire. Was never that fond of the starting areas in this game. Mount Vendor. Buy a Imperial Pack Mule for fifty silver. Oh, that's right, you have to buy your backpacks, I forgot. Companions. She doesn't have anything for sale. I didn't choose anything. Guys are guarding the plagued farmers. As you can see, this is a this is a decent little emulator. War wizard. Let's go find. The guy in the burning houses. Lots of people though. People looking for groups. Did not start in this area when I started playing. OK, 
cannons and things of destruction were always very popular in this game. Siege weapons. Pretty cool. We want to go down here. Around here somewhere. Should be a guy. Hmm. Can't open the door to the burning building and go inside. Go figure. I mean, I will say the starter area does give you a very good introduction to the game. Where is this guy? I speak with Landrick. Amongst the burning houses. Well, these are the burning houses. I do not see his Ah. It's not very intuitive. There he is. Ah, I could have probably seen the thing over his head. Torch bears. Okay, so we got credit for searching two houses there. There's Torchbearer. There's two of them. Searched all the houses. Kill all the torchbearers. Let's go back and see what we got now. I'd like to get out of the starter area. Although it's just really more of the same. Elsa Schmidt. Career trainer. We know where she is. We've already seen her. running in this game is just so ridiculous. Oh, now everybody's got quests. Cool. 
No abilities. So, the playing of the game like this was secondary to the actual game. The actual game is the PvP aspect of the game. The actual just running around and doing these things is only to get you to that point. And I'll show you those in just a second. I don't think I can see the Yeah, RVR. I think rank 40 was the highest. So there's an RVR warband with rank 40s in it. Another one in another lower location with rank 20s. And one with the lower ranks in it. So that is your actual goal. To get into a warband run around and pretty much world versus world or realm versus realm everybody what regiment you with? and that is the game this is secondary this is only so you can get between those points and make it to rank 40 and it does so rather quickly actually there is not a lot of the not a lot of scenery in the game once you start actually leveling I think you can get through the game in a matter of a couple of days and that's just going not really even fooling around just running around doing quests you can max out rank 40 not too long amount of time you can also do it doing RVR which it looks like a lot of people are doing here so this is secondary to the game second floor of the tavern where's the tavern at the tavern no but you know like it said about 70 percent of the quests in this game are functional there's probably a number of them that are not but performance wise it seems to be doing pretty well combat works talking to NPCs works there you are. and it leads you lead you up pretty well. I mean, we're already level 2. We've been playing about 10 minutes and we're just wandering around looking at stuff. Oh, this must be the tavern. So let's go get that book so we can complete another quest. And the quests come pretty fast. Like I said, I'm no pro at this game. I did not play it very long. Because I got kind of tired of the imbalance. The 
there's just a lot of things in this game that made it really unfair because you could max out your damage, get a whole group of people fighting a healer, and uh, you couldn't take him down. And it got extremely frustrating. I mean, there, there, there's a point where healers need to be defensive. I understand that. But there was a... I wish I remember what any of these did. Kind of sad that I don't, actually, at this point. Anyway, everything seems to be working. Collision detection seems to work pretty well. These tips don't seem to be doing much of anything. That must be something it expects the server to, to do. Maybe we can kill some of those hell cannons again. And actually get rewarded for it this time. Where were those? Are they over here? Stuck on a wall. Yeah, I think they were over here. I have to talk to three farmers. Farmers talked to. Let's go shoot some cannons. This game does introduce you to the mechanics in a very good way. There's not much you need to know. And you left click to interact with things. Or if we do more damage if we wait longer. Let's try it on this one. Yes, we do more damage if we wait longer. There we go. And we have earned rank three. So as you can see, earning rank 40 is not going to take a significant amount of time. This is not heavy, heavy experience based. Oh, we got to talk to that guy. Dang it, ran right past him. It's not going to take you weeks to get there. And there's a lot to do as you get there. And with there being 800 people on the server, Now we gotta kill the little guys. It's 
Seems a little excessive to use a cannon to kill him. See any more? Guess we need a new cannon. Get a better view. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, we're gonna kill a hell magus. Hellmaster. Hellmaster. Master. Hell servant. Servant. So we get a Hell Magus, that's what we're looking for. I think we're just gonna have to run down there. Servant, Hell Master, Hell Fang, Hell Master, Hell Master, Hell Fang, Hell Servant, Hell Master, Hell Fang, Hell Master, Servant, Hell Fang. I don't see him. And you heal up fairly fast in this game, so... These guys even attack us if we get close. I don't think they will. Target. Can't see him. Maybe that one's a little easier. Yeah, I can see him. Done. I think these are supposed to be aggressive. I'm not sure. Good 
So we got uh, experience and credits and a belt. Where's our inventory? Okay, there's our character. Let's open our backpack. So the items you equip actually change your character view slightly. Don't need a buckler. Oh, I got an Imperial Pack Mule. That's a recall item. There's crafting items and currency items and quest items that you can keep in there. Get a silver, you can unlock this one. This one is... I don't know how much. Do we have a silver? Next one is 10 silver. One after that's probably 100. But you can queue up for the battlegrounds, and the battlegrounds will get you most of the way there. Teach you how to play the game by doing this beginner's area, and, and you're pretty well on your way. What do you want? So there's public quests you can get influence and you can select a reward for that by doing them. Like a kind of like a public instance that shows up where an event happens and you can participate. They're actually pretty cool. I always like that mechanic. It was a neat addition to the game. I'm having trouble getting used to the quests. Here's our map. Shows us where our quests are. Anyway, work our way down here to the, through Northland. This is a battlefield. So you can go into the battlefield. Let's run down to the uh, inn there. Can I set a waypoint for it? No. And here's one of those public quests. And basically you participate in the quest and gain renown. And you trade that renown in for awards. Armor, equipment, whatnot. It's currently in stage one. I don't really remember this one. But as you can see, this is Warhammer Online in all its uh, glory for whatever for whatever that's worth. Like I said, this inst in this incarnation of it, I never played. I stopped playing before we reached this point. So 
they may have the balance down and they picked a particular patch version the emulator is very well worked on uh, there are a lot of patch notes there was a patch note for today even so there are a lot of things that are being done with it and things that it's are going on with it uh, the developers are very active so a lot of interest a lot of uh, Long lost. Plenty of work to be done. these get kind of old after a while But they are working, so if you want to make If you want to play, you can easily do quests and finish your ranks. I can see there's a bunch of people that are at the max rank, so um I'd kind of like to think you'd have to have a wiki page open while you're playing it to figure out some of it because it's not training you everything because it anticipates you getting these quests and for some reason they are not showing up for me. Also for record, if you watch my install video, I did not install the DirectX 9C and I did not have to. Game's running fine without it. I think that's enough evaluation to see the game is functional to this point. Uh, seeing players at max level, it's functional to the end game, I'm guessing, as well. Uh, as it develops and comes out of what they're considering alpha, I have a feeling it will continue to get better and better. And this is an opportunity with the devs that are this interested in the game. I have a feeling they're going to take it further and fix some of the problems that the original game had that a lot of people complained about. And with a player base of 800 people right now, it tells me that those players appreciate what the devs are doing. So I definitely say if you did not get a chance to play Warhammer Online when it was live, or you did play it and you liked it, Here's your second chance to pick it up now that the servers are gone and not have to pay for it. When the servers were live, I did not feel the game deserved me to pay for it because of some of the problems that we ran into when it was uh, online. I came into it at a very bad time in its life cycle, and the game didn't live very long at all. But Warhammer Online was fun, it's just the problems made it less fun. But there's a lot of patches. They happen often. The devs are very communicative, very professional. So I think if you want to give it a shot, definitely do so. Check out my install video on how to install the client. And I think you'll enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do any of the PvP or Realm versus Realm because I'm not going to be able to devote that much time to this particular game to do that. So I'll leave that up to you. But if you've seen the game, you know what I'm already talking about. We're just focusing on the emulator itself and everything seems to be working so far. There are some limitations, but it's in a way better state than some of the other ones that I've looked at. So give it a shot if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you guys for checking out some of these old emulated games that I've been playing. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Uh, if you'd like me to do a playthrough on one of these, I definitely can. I just need to look up where I put my notes for it because it's been so long since I played the game. I don't remember a lot, but I do remember this game a bit. Uh, it's just, it's been a long while since I played it. So, that's it for this episode. I will talk to you guys later. Have a nice night.